Hey everybody, this is Tyler Kerr with The Truth About Cars. I'm here with my producer, John McManus. What up? He's the man behind the camera, of course. Um, and today we're gonna do a little bit of additional bonus content. This is a tire, right? Obviously. Basically, I just wanted to show you a couple of things about tires themselves. And this happens to actually be a new set of tires. When I was talking in the episode, we were talking about center tread and then edge wear. So the center of the tread is widely referred to as the pieces between the outside band. Between where my hands are, that's the center of the tire tread. That's also the repairable area. So if you get a nail anywhere between here all the way around the diameter of the tire, it can be repaired without needing to be replaced whereas if it's anywhere here all the way down to the wheel part this is all called the sidewall this cannot be replaced one of the things that we talked about was tire wear bars right so these little bumps inside the tread themselves you can see when these ones are actually offset a lot of tires they're not offset they're just in one continuous line but you can very distinctly see these wear bands sometimes technicians will measure from on top of the wear band and it'll erase two thirty seconds of your tire whereas they're supposed to measure from the grooves in the tire that's no good that's an industry trick so that they can fool you into buying tires that you may not actually need since this is a new tire there's not any wear characteristics good or bad on it but John came up with this really good idea. We're gonna cut a couple open for you. I've got two used tires over here, and this one is actually from a motorcycle. The biggest thing on this car tire, it has crazy high edge wear. There's no tread at all. This tire is no good, and it's actually been no good for a long time. What you can see happening right here, this is called stage two rubber. And what's happening here is this tire is so worn out, this could rupture and have a catastrophic failure on the tire. Things that can cause this are alignment, and when a tire is under and Inflated, it rides on the outside edge rather than evenly all the way across the tire so you can get this crazy rapid wear of the outside tire. This is a perfect example of what overinflation looks like. Granted, motorcycle tires only ride on this portion of the tire anyways. If you imagine that it looked like a car tire before, if the center is worn out a lot more than the outside edges, this would indicate that the center of the tire is bowing out towards the road surface, meaning there's too much air in it. Overinflated and underinflated is not good. That's why you gotta check your door placard. I just wanna cut them apart. That's really all I wanna do. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right, let's do it. What you've got here, this is the bundling of bead wire that I was telling you about. You can see that it's different strands. If you can see these tiny white dots, that's actually the polyester cording that goes up and comprises the sidewall's strength. Because you can see how thin the rubber is actually on the sidewall right here. Just look at it compared to my middle finger, right? Like that's a lot more narrow than any other part of the tire. That's why if you go over a pothole too hard, you can get bruises in the sidewall. It's not. Oh, very, I've had yeah, that. It's not very thick at all. Oh, but it's terrible. It'll like bubble too. It'll bubble, exactly. Uh, we're looking at the steel belting here. And if you keep going, it just goes all the way along the top section of the tire where the tread normally is. And then of course, here's the other sidewall. And if I hadn't cut it so poorly, you'd be able to see the other bead right here. Truthfully, it was a little bit messier than I was anticipating. And you can see how it's speckled with all kinds of debris. And uh, would have shot straight into my eyes if not. Oh my God. Also, for any of you uh, super fans, I don't recommend doing this at home because uh, the rubber it flings off is actually pretty hot. I don't know if you can see all those little tiny burns, but my skin is on fire. But only right here, thankfully. So, not so bad, I guess.